to find home when you're racing your own time you can't it always blows my mind because I sit I, well when I'm up there singing a lot of those words I I came up with most of those just sitting on my bed in my bedroom you know what I mean yeah. like alone and just came up with just different ideas and you never think that someone else is gonna hear yeah. it even you know I was well, lucky when I first moved to New York to meet a, a few people that were sort of in the same boat as me around the same age and just do you yeah. know with the same dreams and things and I've been able to keep in touch with them. And it's kind of like, you know, um, any kind of chair or table, the minimum amount of legs it needs are three, you know? Right. Someone once told me that. So, um, you know, with three of us, I know that we can stand, you know? Good. And that's when I realized, I was like, you know what, you're right. Like, the way you perceive yourself is always so different than how other people perceive you. Right. Like, I probably don't really know what Ben Queller sounds like compared to what it really is. Do you know right, what I mean? Right, absolutely. Like, like, I've read reviews of bands, and, you know, like, I'll be reading Rolling Stone magazine, like, a, an album review of some band I've never heard of, and they'll say, like, oh, this, the chorus of this song has a real Ben Queller feel. I'm like, well, what the hell does that Ben mean, Queller right. sound like? Yeah. Well, know? the Beatles were the first thing. Um, I remember listening to All You Need Is Love on my dad's turntable and just crying. I was about eight years old because the melody was so beautiful that All mm -hmm. You Need Is Love, and... That's when I said, I really want to do this. I want to write songs. I want to make people cry through music. Like, whatever's happening to me right now through this music is what I want to at least get across to other people. Yeah. You know? And uh, so then I started writing songs. That is why you came to your senses. I've come full circle on so many things. You, you start out one way as a kid, and then you... you want to do something else because you might think it's cool but then you go back to the first thing because you're like well that was really cool because you weren't trying to be cool and then, <laughs> yeah. there's, then there's you know it's just Absolutely. like any other thing in life I guess you know the longer you do it hopefully the better you get at it and the smarter you get at it and the more you learn and, yeah. you know it's music's what I do and so you know like the records will be around a lot longer than I am so I always try to take them seriously and and just like make honest music and try not to compromise myself and just do something real because at the end of the day it's the only thing that's gonna that people will remember me by and at the end of the day it just comes down to making music and sitting in your little room by yourself and writing songs and at the in 50 years that's what you're gonna be judged on yeah. it's not what you're trying to be it's what you are and so that's kind of how I feel <laughs>